All right, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, citizens of YouTube, it's Pastor Down. It seems to be the hot topic of the day called plagiarism. Plagiarism, pretty much basically in this particular instance right here, is when someone else steals someone else's words and use them for their own self as if they originated with themselves. Well, when you look at America as a whole, that's pretty much what all the Roman, Greek, uh, European and American countries has done. They have actually stole all the history and all the glory of antiquities and tried to make this generation and everybody else around the real world to believe that it all originated with them. That's plagiarism. People go to my website. Um, you know, I talk about uh, the tassels, the teat seats. Uh, most of you have no idea what that is. But anyway, if you go to my website, you'll see I have a newsletter on teat seats. And people plagiarize my newsletters and they take the information as if it originate with them. They copy, they paste it, they stick it on their websites. Um, uh, they take the information that has actually been placed on the straightway truth and they use it as if it originated with them to try to make somebody think that these are some intelligent type of grandiose people. That's plagiarism. There's another form of plagiarism. Plagiarism is when you're actually watching me, you're listening to me, you're paying attention to me, uh, you're following my teachers, and then you turn around and go teach the people everything that I've taught, and you try to make sure you put distance between uh, my teachings uh, and your teachings uh, by uh, trying to act like as if um, the message didn't even come from me. So you change a few words, um, you change a few thoughts, but the brunt end of the message, the original part of the message, actually came from Pastor Dow. That's plagiarism. So what about it? I mean, usually when people are making quotes from someone, I mean, that's what I do. If I'm making quotes from someone, I usually give the sources uh, where the quote originated from. If I'm quoting something from um, history, I actually tell you where the history of it comes from. Uh, if I'm a defining a word, I don't use my own definition unless I believe that I can actually articulate it better. Uh, but we live in a hypocritical world. People just need to go ahead and embrace that. I had thought about at times um, how to just do newsletters and 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 just uh, allow the, the ministry, uh, the words of the ministry, uh, to only be given out to a select few. Uh, I'm, I'm actually working on right now a private teaching channel. Uh, and it's not a channel on YouTube. Matter of fact, let me rephrase that. I'm actually working on a private live stream um, video uh, teaching. And what that means is, is that I'm going to actually be doing some teachings uh, that is not for the general public. It's only for those who are serious about this walk with the Most High Yah. It's only for those who are serious minded. It's only for those who um, believe what we are preaching and teaching and you would have a username and a password to be able to get in it and you and only you would be able to view this. Now, what does that also involve and entails? Well, it also involves entails that I have to have your trust. Um, I have to uh, hope that you would be loyal and not give out the password and not give out um, all the um, uh, usernames and passwords to this particular live streaming because it's only for you. If you get it, it's just stating something. It means that I think highly of you. It also means that I think well of you. It also means that I have a lot of confidence in you. Uh, is it a secret? No. But what am I doing? Think about this for a second. When Jesus spoke to the disciples, he spoke to them one way. When he was speaking to the whole, he spoke to them another way. Matter of fact, the majority of the time he spoke to them in parables. Those who wanted to go a little bit farther, those who wanted to grow more, those who wanted to know more, um, after everybody else was gone, after the smoke had cleared, they got in touch with Jesus. And he had turned around and expounded unto them, and he declared unto them the message of the parable. See, in other words, a lot of preachers and teachings that I do, people don't know the intricate workings of it. They don't even know, um, they, they, they have no idea of the inner intensity of the actual message in itself. And even those who have been around me that's learned it, taught once for a while, uh, they have to even come back and say at times, Pastor, I, I heard what you said right here, but what did you really mean by this right here? And I would expound unto them a more excellent way. That's just the way it is. I'm not here to try to uh, garner favor with the public opinion. I'm not trying to draw everyone. I can't, I'm not trying to draw anybody to tell you the truth. It's the truth that draws. And when you hear me 
you're going to be you're going to be drawn based on the level of truth that you're able to receive and you're never going to be able to hear the truth based on your level of rejection and so we live in a world that has a very high lofty opinion of themselves and, and we just have to face it that the world is just an opinionated place and people put a whole lot of stock in their opinion than they do truth uh most people they have what that, the latest statement in this generation is is your truth i heard somebody the other day or well, i read the other day somebody said speak your truth pastor and i quickly said oh, oh, oh wait a minute i don't have no truth john 8 32 says you shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free they asked jesus what is truth and he was sitting right there in front of them so people claim truth in many different venues many different aspects and everything but the truth is there's only one that is the truth so i can't claim any truth for my truth that's what religion does you know i'm on this road right here and on this road right here let me see off the top of my head there's one two three four five six churches on one stretch of road do you see what's wrong with society today everyone that has a religious connotation of what they call conviction they go to the church of their choice church of their flavor they go there ignorantly based on their own perspectives point of view or, or opinions or whatever their family taught them not that they've done their own due diligence to investigate anything to see if what has been said is so when pastor dow comes on his youtube channel all my videos every single one of them is spoken from the heart it comes straight from the heart. I don't have a teleprompter. I don't have any notes sitting in front of me. I don't have any of that stuff. I, I like speaking from the heart. Uh, when you're dealing with professional news or journalists, let's say journalists or, or people who actually do that uh, for a living and stuff, they go to classes in order to learn how to present information and stuff. My class is the University of the Painful Truth. My name is Professor Charles Dow, and I just happen to be the pastor of the Straightway Truth um, Ministries of the Israelite Heritage uh, straightway that's that's me uh and i when i speak i speak straight from the heart because i have hidden y'all's word in my heart so a lot of times when you are vehemently upset and a lot of times when you oppose a lot of things that i say simply because you don't understand but you uh function after a feeling or an emotion uh, chances are you don't know what the bible says uh, i can't tell you how many people who have had integrity i've got i get all kind of letters of apologies Stating that I, I believe this about you. I believe that about you and I thought this about you when you said this But when I went back and I actually investigated i done my own Self-autonomy Done my own due diligence. I searched these matters out. I come to find out That you are not speaking your own mind, but you was telling us the mind of the most high Which at that time I didn't know So I became greatly upset and in being greatly upset, I misspoke and I misjudged you because I judged you from where my heart was at that time without information. People do that all the time. They do it all of the time. That's why the word says there's one that slippeth in his speech and not in his heart. And so I have to be the one to determine who's doing it. And when you got these, these little ignorant people who um, you know, make these little stupid comments. Sometimes I'll go toy with them a little bit, but they really not worth time because think about it, their whole life is social media and they have nothing else to show for and that's it so they really not warranted of too much time um and i especially don't give them too much energy or effort but i mean there's many things to be desired straight from the heart straight from the heart and that comes from a heart uh, that's actually been transformed by the word i can't help that a lot of things i speak is very offensive to you um but that's not my problem you need to be the one to actually go and check out you need to be the one to view. You need to be the one to see um, if the things that I'm saying, if it's so or not. That's what you should do. And when you figure it out and do that, I wonder if many of you would have any integrity or heart to realize that you just met a man that's been more of a friend to you and more of a brother to you than you ever had in your life. At least one thing about Pastor Dow, no matter who you are, uh, be you friend or foe, enemy alike, makes no difference. When you come to this channel, at least, at least I've loved you enough to tell you the truth.